All right, see if you can figure out the formal charge for all the atoms in this molecule. So press pause and work it out for yourself. Then when you're ready, press play. All right, so let's have a close look at the atoms in this molecule. And of course, figuring out the formal charge, we're gonna need the number of bonding electrons and the number of non-bonding electrons, non-bonding electrons. Okay, so uh, let's start off maybe with just with the hydrogens. Um, hydrogen, fairly straightforward, two bonding electrons, right? No non-bonding electrons, so valence electrons in a free neutral atom of hydrogen is one minus one half times the number of bonding electrons, so that's one minus one, um, minus number of non-bonding electrons, which is zero. So one minus one minus zero, that gives you a total of zero. So this hydrogen is actually neutral. And actually, it's a pretty good rule of thumb. If you have a hydrogen which has one bond to it, you can assign a formal charge of, of zero to that hydrogen. And um, so we can save a little bit of time here and just assign formal charges of zero to each of these hydrogens because they all have one bond to them. They don't have any lone pairs. They shouldn't um, because that would break their own little octet, uh, not the octet rule, but that would, that would uh, give them more electrons than they have room for at the moment. Um, so each of these hydrogens are neutral. Okay, so we can stop talking about hydrogens actually. Let's move on and talk about the carbon. Let's talk about this carbon here. Okay, this carbon on the far left. Now, this carbon, how many bonding electrons does it have? Well, it's involved in three bonds. So three bonds, each has two electrons, so a total of six bonding electrons. Um, now, does it have any non-bonding electrons? Well, no, it doesn't have any lone pairs. It doesn't have any single electrons present. So it actually is um, has no non-bonding electrons. So let's then apply this to our formal charge formula. Now, how many electrons, how many valence electrons are present in a free neutral atom of carbon? Well, there are four, right? Four. So four minus the number of bonding, half the number of bonding electrons, so one half times six or three. Now, you get the same answer by just counting the number of bonds. So it's the little shortcut. There's no non-bonding electrons, so zero. So four minus three minus zero, that gives us an answer of plus one. Okay, and we'll just abbreviate that by just drawing plus. So this carbon has a charge of, of plus one. Okay, so let's move over and talk about this carbon uh, in the middle. So this carbon in the middle, uh, number of bonding electrons does it have? Well, it's four bonds, each has two electrons, the total of eight bonding electrons. No non-bonding electrons, so zero here. So we can still use our four at the bottom here because we're still dealing with carbon. Four minus one half times eight is gonna give us four minus four. And there's no non-bonding electrons, so that should be four minus four minus zero. That gives us an answer of zero. So this carbon is actually neutral. So you see four bonds to carbon. Uh, that's a that's a neutral that's a neutral species. Okay, good. Another good kind of rule of thumb. If you see four bonds to carbon, it's it's a neutral molecule. Um, now let's look at this last example, the carbon on the far right. So carbon on the far right. How many bonding electrons does it have? Well, again, it has eight. How many non-bonding electrons does it have? Zero. So, sorry, it has eight because, again, there's four bonds. Each bond has two electrons. So one half times eight gives us four. So same as the number of bonds. And no non-bonding electrons. So four minus four minus zero, that is also zero. So this is neutral. So overall, overall, the molecule has a charge of plus one because the only thing that has a charge on it is actually our carbon here on the far left-hand side. So a charge of plus one. So because it has a positive charge, it's what we call a cation. Um, 
Now, specifically because the cation is on the carbon, you'll see it called a carbocation. Carbocation. Okay. So this is a carbocation and has a charge of plus one. 